Ladies and gentlemen, on now to our eighth bout of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the blue corner, Brennan Wolf. Brennan Wolf making a beeline out of river, right to that right to that cage out of River City Warriors. This should be an awesome fight. I'm looking forward to it. I know Brendan Brendan Wolf's got a little bit of a reach on Dan Boyer, but Dan Boyer is aggressive and he's 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 a mean little guy. Yeah, you got to think Brendan Wolf is the favorite coming in with the five and two record. Uh, he's got to be feeling confident. I'm not sure how many of those fights were kickboxing, how many of those fights were MMA fights, but. Good amount of experience. Looks like he's been getting some lashings on his yeah. back. His back Who looks knows? like Wilson from Castaway. My <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If that's how you warm up by getting slapped by Ric Flair, I guess, I guess that's a good start. Let's go. And now his opponent making his way to the red corner, Dan Boyer. Daniel Boyer, another Maryville Muay Thai representative. They've had a good showing thus far tonight. Let's see if Daniel Boyer can bring it home for him. Daniel Boyer from right here in Arnold, Missouri. He is proud to be from Arnold. Hey, you know, hey, I, I'm from a, a small city right down the street called Imperial, Missouri. It, it's, I'm not gonna say I'm that as ecstatically proud as, as, as Dan Boyer is. But I know that talking to him before this fight, he was excited to come out in front of his hometown crowd. Looks like he has his daughter with him. I'm assuming that's his daughter. She looks nervous, but they're excited. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a cool moment for him. It is cool. So uh, I fought my retirement fight back here in October, and I had my son walk out with me. It was one of the, and, and I got some of the best pictures. They've got great photographers here. It was a moment that you can now you can never exchange. You know what I mean? It's sure. one of those. It's just one of those things. Dan Boyer is a very intense person. I'm looking forward to seeing him get in here. Yeah, you can see it just on the way he walks out and looks like a fiery young man. Should make for a good fight. I see what you were saying though. Uh, it's, it's definitely apparent that Brandon Wolf is, is the bigger of the two guys. So let's see if Daniel Boyer's aggressiveness will uh, get him through tonight. Yeah, Dan Boyer, I know he's always in shape, always comes in ready to fight, trains a lot. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to this, and I want to see these boys put on a show. Nice slow walk out here for Mr. Boyer. Sometimes you want to soak in that moment and in his hometown of Arnold, so why not? Got a good look at the gloves right there. Got to make sure they're taped up. They look good, boys. <laughs> yes, they do. Good job. Good job. Dan, you know, we've, we've seen some amazing mustaches today, but Dan has got some pretty grizzly chops on there. <laughs> What an entrance for Dan Boyer. Ooh. He's got a nice tan, too, I have yeah, to admit. He's got a nice, I Fight think fans, this contest <laughs> is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in an NFA kickboxing bout and a catch weight at 150 pounds. Brought to you tonight by CBI Streetcars and JC's AC. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The striker stands 5'11", weight in 151 pounds. Yields an amateur record, five wins, two defeats. Representing River City Warriors and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Brandon Bones Wolf. His opponent across the NFA cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a Muay Thai kickboxer standing 5'6", weight in 146 pounds. He holds a 2-4 and four amateur record, representing Maryville Muay Thai, and fighting out of Arnold, Missouri, Dan the Bad Boy Boyer. Your referee in charge of the action, Tim Francis. Well, just to circle back, I think Dan's tan is on point. Yeah, so. I gotta apologize to Dan Boyer. I didn't realize how jacked he was until he got his shirt <laughs> off. So this is interesting. A nice teep to start it out. Good oh, hard kicks. These boys are throwing some heat. Ooh, Dan with a good jab. 
trying to sneak that little right hook in there. These guys are throwing heat. Big teep coming from Boyer. Uh, big, big right, right hand. hand. I don't like the, uh, how wild that was, but I'd like to see. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if Dan got a, a low blow body shot. I'm not sure what we have there. Little confusion right there. Both boys. Oh, I think it was Dan's body. They both went down. I don't know. What I don't know. Even sure what we're looking at here. That was confusing. Looks like maybe Dan got hurt to the body, but it, it did. It looked like maybe Brandon, the first shot might have been a body shot, and then he got took it again right well, there. Brandon I'm not sure. Wolf took a hard shot to the head, so I'm not sure who got the better of that exchange, but. These guys are swinging. Yeah, Wolf's got a bloody nose right now. That means Dan's landed something. I can't hear what the referee's saying, but he's explaining something. It's like Dan Boyer adjusting his cup. <clears throat> well, he just signaled that he got hit in, in that cup. So... Gets a little bit of time to readjust, regain himself. Looks like he's ready. Nice right hand by Dan coming in straight right there. Left hook. Looks like as Brendan Wolf's trying to kick, Good body Dan's shot. just punching. Yeah, Dan with a nice Big body punches. shot right there. Dan, These boys came to fight today. They certainly did, but Dan's got to calm down. He's swinging everything in every shot. You gotta change that tempo up because as this fight wanes on, it's gonna be harder to throw those fast, heavy shots. I agree with, oh my goodness, they're trading kicks right here. Nice head kick right there. He set that up with some hands though. A couple straight punches, don't just throw the looping hooks. Oh, I, I you know what? I don't know if he's getting hit. <laughs> that one certainly wasn't low. I'm, I'm not sure where it went. I don't know how we how we count it though. I, I I I couldn't see the angle we were at, so we're gonna have to try to get another look at it. Oh, it looks like looks like Dan Boyer's mouthpiece came out. Yeah. That kick definitely didn't look low. I'm not sure what happened, but Dan lost his mouthpiece. Nice leg kicks coming out of Dan Boyer. Good right hand right there out of out of Luke. Another right hand finding a home. Dan's firing back to that knee. That was definitely to that the body. That knee was definitely the body. Listen, it looks like it looks like every time Brendan Wolf fires things to the body, it is affecting Daniel Boyer. That was that was definitely Absolutely. a hard shot to the body. Absolutely. Ten seconds might give Dan just enough time to. Dan's body is not holding up very well to this. He's gonna make the bell. Does he get saved by the bell? Because I don't think you can get saved by the bell, but the bell should ring right now. Did they stop the time? Well, he's starting right there, ding. And Brendan Wolf doing the right thing, recognizing that he had Daniel on, Boyer. On now we go to round number two. Rec this fight is brought to you by CBI Street Cars. We build fast street cars. Hit him up at 314-952-9883, CBI Streetcars. Also, as the weather starts to warm up, now is the perfect time to prepare your HVAC system for spring and summer. Contact JC's AC today to schedule your semi-annual HVAC service. Hit them up at 636-795-7767. Brendan Wolf doing a good job of recognizing that he had Daniel Boyer hurt to the body. He went back to the body shots and had a lot of success. Let's see if Daniel Boyer is able to, to recover because he was definitely hurt. He looked like everything that touched his body hurt him. He, he looked like he snuck in a couple, hey, that was a low blow type deal. But I'm pretty sure that Brendan Wolf is going to go right back to that body. As he should. Uh, I 100% agree. I'm a big fan of a jab high, straight cross to the body, right to the center of that sternum. I think he should come out and be patient. It looks like Brendan Wolf is the is the fresher of the two. 
So come out, faint your, faint your punches, knee to the head. Nice body shot right there. Looked like a body kick to a hook to the head. Oh, Dan Boyer, I don't think he's gonna get up after this one. He's actually hurt pretty badly here. Yeah. You see him kind of wobble as he stands. Oh, he stood up. Arnold's getting behind Dan Boyer right here. Again, Brendan Wolf needs to be patient, keep his range and distance because Dan Boyer's waiting for him to be close enough to crack him with those big hooks. Yeah, oh, nice right hand drop, Dan Boyer. Second knockdown of this round. I think you gotta start thinking about stopping this fight too because I, I agree. Daniel Boyer's gone down a couple of times and he's just hurt. Yeah, Dan Boyer, you're gonna keep going. He's There is no doubt he's a tough kid, but Brendan Wolf finding his range, finding his mark. Big punches coming back from Dan Boyer. I think the problem is Dan Boyer throws those big punches and he gets countered to the body. Nice right hand, put Dan Boyer on his butt for a second, or I guess the case to send him back. And Dan Boyer's gotta, he's gotta change up his defense. He can't just shell up and take the shots because when they get through, they hurt. Nice, well-timed teeth, this fight's all over. I. That one looked a little bit low. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I would have to see it. I, I think the ref's calling the fight. Fight's over. I, I, I believe it was a body shot. Ref called it. He's the third knockdown in the round. Anticlimactic finish to the to the fight, but yeah, Dan Boyer just unable to keep his feet. Still wants to fight. Still fighting hard. But at the end of the day, Brendan Wolf had a great fight. He was able yeah. to put together great offense. Brendan Wolf, great job, great game plan. I think Dan Boyer goes back to the gym and does a little body conditioning. I mean, he's got the abs, he looks good, great tan, but you've got to get used to getting hit with shots. Yeah, and you, you have to be able to control your weapons. Yep. When you're swinging them around wildly, just take a little bit off of it. Not only will you find that you have more success with your accuracy, but you won't floor yourself to the ground and run into shots harder than your opponent's yep. actually throwing them. And listen, I know, it happens, right? We want to get out there and take these guys out but he's got to take a little something off of it. If he wants to get better, he's got to smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, and he's, he's throwing those hooks with, with 100% oh, and velocity they're powerful. and force. Absolutely, but if you just, think about this, if you go out there, you set up a pop a couple jabs, throw a hard right hook, it might land bringing his hands forward. Yeah, you got to love the sportsmanship coming out of these, these uh, two gentlemen, and yeah, no doubt about it. At least we saw a second round. Daniel Boyer has a great tan. No doubt about that. Great tan, great chops, bad body conditioning. Two fighters making their way to the center now. Tee up to Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Tim Francis, calls a stop to the flight in one minute. 30 seconds into the second round, declaring a winner by TKO, Brendan Bones Wolf. Real quick, Brendan, congratulations on a well-fought match right there. You guys were exchanging some pretty good stuff, but you found the liver. I mean, if you find the liver and you find it all night long, it's going to cause problems for people. Uh, give us your thoughts on the fight. Dan's a tough dude, props to him. I knew taking this fight that it was gonna be a scrap, and that's what it was. I just worked my ass off in the gym, outside of the gym, and this is where I am. All right, now congratulations. Anything, anybody you'd like to thank out here tonight? Uh, I'd like to thank my teammates, family, lovely girlfriend, and just everyone that's had a huge part of my life. Congratulations on an excellent win. Brendan Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Brendan Wolf, getting it done in the second round. Nice finish. Brendan Wolf coming out making a now statement. Now when we got here, Dan told me that he had some stuff to say, so I'm gonna turn over the microphone to Dan Boyer. Hold it close. Hold it close. Melissa, it starts with your dad. This is the only reason why I fight. Your dad sat over here October 24th and watched me fight my last fight. He watched me win it. Told all my people that he loved me and loved me like a son. Tonight I was supposed to retire. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, baby. We coming back. 
Bad boy ain't done, peoples. Damn boy, here, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Give me a shout out for Hosey Roofing and Surf Pro over here, please. These are one of the best two companies in St. Louis. You need a roof, you hit them up. You'd be lucky to get me. I might even do your roof for you guys or my partner, Cedric. But thank you, so Hosey Roofing and Surf Pro. That's where the tan comes from. <laughs> Not a tan. Damn boy, here, ladies and gentlemen.